My name is Tiffany Page and I love the ocean. I grew up in Southern California and I would come down to this beach on weekends with my brother and we would spend hours in the ocean, floating and gliding over the waves. It was the most fun ever. And so my passion for the environment is probably what prompted me to start a blog called Green with Tiffany. And along the way I met this wonderful organization called the Five Gyres. And they are committed to the research of plastic pollution in our oceans and trying to find ways strategically to lessen what's going out there because hundreds of millions of metric tons of plastic is already floating in our oceans. And so what is a gyre? Well, a gyre is where all the currents sort of come together and it brings in trash and plastic. And I always thought, well, I have to see this gyre. Can you see it from overhead? Is there big pieces of plastic poking out of it? More like a plastic soup. So what happens to plastic is it breaks down into tiny little pieces. Every piece of plastic ever made is still somewhere here on the planet. Isn't that a crazy statistic? And so when I found out that the five gyres, hence the name of the organization, is going on this plastic pollution expedition, I had to be a part of it. There are five gyres within our world's oceans. And so you might think, well, I don't live near an ocean, why should I care? Well, 71% of our planet is covered in water and over 50% of our oxygen comes from a healthy ocean. And more than 1 billion people get their protein from the oceans. So the ocean is a very important part of our existence. What are we gonna be doing? Well, we start off in Bermuda doing a beach survey. We go out into the water, 2,500 miles we'll be covering, 12 days at sea. I've never been on a boat longer than a day. I hope I can handle it. But it's so important to me to go and trawl these waters and see firsthand from a civilian's point of view the impact of plastic pollution and these little tiny microplastics that are out there in the water that our fish are eating. Over a million marine life die every year because of the plastic pollution. And what happens if you're a fish eater? Plastic leaches and it's made from petroleum and chemicals. And now it's in our water and in our fish. And then if you eat fish, well, you do the math on that. Not so good. So I wanna bring this information back to you you know, people think like, well, I recycle, I do my part, and that's great, and I don't want to take recycling away from anybody because it's definitely the last best effort. But think of this visual. Think of eight football fields filled with plastic. Now know that we throw away that much plastic in the U.S. every five minutes. What? How could that be? That's not sustainable. We can't recycle plastic fast enough. So 93% of our plastic actually never makes it into the recycling bin. It ends up in our landfill or unaccounted for, which means it probably ends up in the ocean. And something that used to be free, our water, now comes in a plastic water bottle. But do you know that this water bottle, even if you recycle it, it never becomes another plastic water bottle. It actually has to be downcycled. So that means it becomes a doormat or filler for your jacket. And if you're lucky, a park bench. So we can't just keep throwing all this plastic away because once it breaks down in little pieces, well, it's harmful to our environment everywhere. Plastic pollution, it's a huge problem and I want to be part of the solution with the Five Gyre. So help me go from Bermuda to Iceland and see firsthand what's out there in our oceans so that I can bring back this information and share it with you as well. I would be so grateful if you could donate and if you can't, that's okay. Just make sure to share. Sharing is caring, right? I would be so appreciative and so grateful. Thank you so much for watching and for your time and Bon voyage.